So once you're logged into collaboration uh, to access any existing meetings or to manage, modify and create meetings, we're going to go to this video conference option right here and we click on this button. Uh, it's going to open up any existing conferences uh, along with the ability here to create a new conference. So we're going to go ahead and create a new conference. First thing, first thing that we'll want to do is uh, put a title on our conference. Go ahead and do that. Um, the next thing was we'll put in a description. So, we actually have the option to schedule this conference. Uh, if we don't schedule the conference, it can be accessed at any time. Uh, however, if we choose to schedule it, we can uh, also uh, send invitations out and have it uh, accessible for the specific time. And we can also have the option to make it recurring. So we'll go ahead and make this one recurring. We're going to set it for um, today. Let's use the 31st. That's today. Oops. We'll set it at 1 p.m. Actually, let's push it out. Let's put it at 3. All right. 3 p.m. and it automatically uh, sets an hour for the duration. You can modify that. For example, if I wanted to shorten length in this time, I could go ahead and do that here. Okay, so it'll be on the same day, uh, an hour and a half long. Um, location, uh, which is United States Eastern time zone. And if we wanted it to repeat, we can go ahead and click this section here and choose uh, the frequency with which this conference would be made available. And uh, it would go every day, every week, every month, or every year. So we'll go weekly, and we'll repeat uh, every two weeks on Wednesday. And we can end on, let's end on end of September here. So we'll go to September 28th will be the last one that we do. So here you can see we have a lot of options in terms of setting the uh, frequency uh, for different applications. Language, we're going to leave as United States. That makes sense. And we have dial-in numbers. Now, we do have the option to add uh, countries uh, and, and even international countries with dial-in numbers. Uh, however, you can only have two countries at a time, as you can see there. So I click to add more, and it's prompting me. I only am allowed to select two countries. So in this case, I can take away Canada. And if I click again, it gives me a list of available countries that I can add to this particular web conference. We also have the ability to set the set a conference password. If this is something that is done, uh, you will need to provide this to participants uh, outside of just the standard invite. So this is something that needs to be corresponded uh, manually to any uh, invitees or registrants uh, as uh, as necessary. And there is a limitation of 10 characters, as we can see here. So that will be required before they enter the conference. So now we have all of our information uh, programmed and set uh, with details for this conference. We can go ahead and go back up to the center of this box here and we can choose to add some uh, participants so we can invite people that are on our system let's go ahead and see if ben and ben want to join um, and we'll also be able to search through our phone books so if we have a um if we have some contacts stored in phone books on our Wildlink system. When we type in the name uh, and or a matching email, it will pull that contact specifically and we'll be able to add them to this list. Uh, we also are able to add contacts that are not in our phone books. So for example, we'll go ahead and enter an email that isn't part of our contacts. And you'll see it does show up here. All I need to do is click on that email and it'll get added up to the participant list. So adding participants is very simple. 
Once uh, you've added all of your participants, you can go ahead and hit the check mark and they will receive a notification. Now for those participants who are on your Wildix system, your colleagues, in this case, Ben and Ben, they will receive notification via collaboration in their chat. There will be a chat that comes from the user who's creating the conference. So in this case, it would be extension 500 cloud 10. So once I hit the check mark, <clears throat> that will be generated. It's going to give me an update. Video conference was saved successfully. And I can see that that conference now shows in my list of conferences uh, scheduled for today.